What's going on, y'all? Lucky Dipper here. Alright, so today uh, we're going to be reviewing a dip that is most in my comments. I've actually done a review on it uh, a couple years ago, a year ago, something like that. Y'all suggested it, so I guess I decided that I'll revisit it. We have Copenhagen Wintergreen Long Cut. Uh, I see the comments all the time. You guys keep saying Copenhagen, Copenhagen. Uh, I made the video many years ago, or about a year ago. Uh, and I'll tell you a little story. When I first started dipping, it was Grizzly Wintergreen. That was when I was 16, almost 15 years ago. So... Uh, I dipped that for about a year, and I, I tried Copenhagen when I was like 17, and I did not like it. It was like, really made me throw up. It was bad. It might have been a bad batch. I don't know, but I haven't liked Copenhagen since. I've tried many of their products. The one that I found that I like most is the Extra uh, Long Cut Natural. Also, the uh, Copenhagen packs aren't too bad. Not my favorite, but not too bad. So we have a unopened can here. Here's the code for anybody that wants it. Screenshot it or DM me on Instagram. I'll give it to you. I don't use them. I don't really get on the website. So I'm going to crank this open here. I haven't had a Copenhagen Wintergreen in a while, so... We'll revisit it and see if my opinion's changed. I mean, probably not, but here we go. Let's make sure. Sell so by March 17th, 2024. That is actually one thing I do like about it, is they put the sell by date instead of a code. So. All right. Still smells about as bad as I remember. But, all right, so. Ignore the painted fingernail. I have kids. There's that. All right. Here we go. Don't kill me with this. It's a sense of rebranding, though. Has anybody... Has the flavor changed? Let's see. Ah, bottoms up. Very winter greeny, very fresh. You can definitely taste it. Yeah, I tried this when I was like 17 and it like made me puke, but I was 31. I'm 31 now. That was a while ago. I think I've tried it like a couple of times throughout the years and I haven't really liked it. I reviewed it once and it was absolutely awful. But that's just my opinion. Like, don't come hate me in the comments, anything like that. It's just my opinion. I've always been a grizzly guy. But for the sake of the video, I mean, the comments. And for the sake of the internet, here we are. You know, honestly, overall, it's not too bad. I mean, my taste buds have probably changed over the years. We got the uh, new cam with the deer. Which I reviewed in a previous video not too long ago. Actually, I did the, this one, the men, or the straight, one of them, I can't remember, but I reviewed them, the can designs. And uh, here's the one with a deer. It's actually really cool. I gave that like an eight and a half. I, mean, I feel like they're trying to copy Grizzly too much with the hunting and fishing type thing, but. So. It packs well, it holds well. The flavor actually isn't as strong as what I remember. This honestly ain't too bad. I mean, I still hate it, but I'd rather have Grizzly Cougar. But honestly, it does give you a little burn in your lip because you know, I haven't had something rather strong in a long time. But overall, honestly, I hate it, but you can't really hate on it too much. What do you guys think? I guess I'm going to ask. What do you guys think of Copenhagen? Is there anybody out there that absolutely cannot stand it? Like me. But. I guess it's tolerable if you have to. 
I'm not going to lie to you guys. The only reason I bought these cans is because they sent me some coupons in the mail. Uh, it was like, I think I paid $2 and like 40 some cents for this can. Which I know is actually quite cheap compared to some places. How much is a can of Coke in where you guys are at? Here, I think without coupons, it's like almost $5. I don't know in California, they're like 8 9 10 bucks. But how much is where you guys are at? Let me know, guys, in the comments. Honestly, Copenhagen ain't all that bad. I'm going to give this one, realistically, I'm going to give this one a 9. Let's try to do an unbiased opinion. I'm going to go 9 out of 10, honestly. <clears throat> A little expensive, but if you're, you know, Vipper, it is really good. I mean, I'd still rather have Grizzly, not my favorite, but 9 out of 10. I know this is very popular, so. And honestly, the nicotine buzz ain't too bad. Or not as bad as it, you know, used to be. I don't know if they changed your formula, but whatever. So, 9 out of 10, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments, and... Let me know what else I should review, and I'll see what I can do. See you guys next time.